Hello and welcome to my channel, have a pleasant day in Sandbox in the Alien Double and Ticular XL Edition from Film Arena. So a little while ago I did a pickup video mentioning that I do an unboxing video of this set, which I'm finally bothered around to actually doing. Um, and uh, to be honest it is a really nice looking set. Um, picked this up on eBay for £95, the um, original listing was something like £120 but the seller sent me an offer for £95. And of course I snap it up quicker than a chest burster coming out of a victim and um really happy to finally own it we'd love to pick up the um sort of embossed edition at some point but um to be honest that's going for like 400 pound on ebay so i don't think i'll be getting that for quite a while anyway i think we will get straight on the unboxing so not even going to mention that this set is available because this is long out of print i'll take you through the little j card first and then we'll take everything out of the stuff of the um box and have a look at that so the one that started at all Yep, that is very true. And you've got a picture of the chest burster there. How cute. And there's a little um, number card. So I've got number 403 of 500. So um, not super low number, but um, it's um, no, sort of very close to the 500 mark. I don't know where I'm going with that, but I know what I'm talking about. But yep, just your standard um, J card for Film Marina. Just sort of thick card. Really nice. And I'll take you through the box. So, of course, this is double lenticular. So this is the first one. And, of course, you've got the title Alien, so you know what the film's called. That is some beautiful artwork of the alien there. Looks like he's about to order something from McDonald's, but I don't think he knows how to use the keypad. And, yeah, he is very hungry. But, yeah, that is beautiful. As you can see, turn it over, and you've got a picture of Ripley with a flamethrower. And again, very nice 3D lenticular. On the top, they haven't, well, they haven't actually gone for the famous line. They've just gone for something else. So sometimes the scariest things come from within. I know a lot of people probably expect in the, um, in space, no one can hear your scream, but oh well. And it is um, embossed and it is um, got a nice gloss finish to it. Turn it over on the side there. Again, alien embossed and um, spot gloss. And that is just a beautiful little touch. On the bottom, again, you've got like another little number. So film arena number 400 feet of 500. And it does change there, as you can see. So film arena, and there's the number. And you've got the studio credits, which is also sort of textured and spot gloss. So beautiful. So we'll take all the contents out, do a little squeeze test. Yep, that is pretty sturdy, and you can actually see artwork within the set, which is just the same as the, the rest of it. It's just that it hasn't got the lenticular on there. Uh, I think we do the still book class, so I'll put that to one side. I think we will go through for the booklet. I think we do the booklet first. So Alien, got a nice matte finish on there. And there's the Alien looking really surprised at an egg. And yeah, I guess it... Well, it doesn't really count as a wraparound, but I guess with the black and that, it does sort of make sense. So we'll have a quick look through. So that's when they um, enter the planet. That's the um, the cockpit. I'm not going to make any jokes about that. Got Dallas there. And you've got all the crew there with their, in their underwear. Because why not? It was the 70s. And you've got the Xenomorph there. It's really cool. And I think that's when they crash land again on the planet. That's when Kane's going to look at some eggs, which I don't think is a very, very good idea, mate. It doesn't end very well usually. And that's where everything goes haywire. So Tom Skerritt, Dallas, Scorney Weaver, Ripley, absolute legend. Uh, Lambert, Veronica Cartwright, right? <laughs> Why I said that wrong. Ivy Dean Stanton, he plays Brett. John Hurt plays Kane, legendary actor. And Ian Holm, who plays Ash. So, again, legendary actor. And we all know how it ends for him, especially if you've seen the film. And, yep, Hurt Koto? Did I say that right? I'll probably just butcher that, so I do apologise. But he plays Parker. And Ridley Scott, the director. I don't think he was actually in the film, but it is nice to see him, and he does look 
little, what was he about there, about 30 odd? No, probably about 40. I think I got that right. No, probably haven't. But yeah, that is a nice little booklet. So put that to one side. And next up is the collector's cards, Alien. You've got this picture of the space jockey. And you open it up and it does sort of form the image. And you've got all the, um, you know, the characters there. But yeah, that is some really nice artwork. Um, and it is also a matte finish, so open it up, and we think we do the character cards first. So Ripley, Sigourney Weaver, Lambert, Veronica Cartwright, and she looks absolutely terrified. Ash, Ian Holm, Dallas, Tom Skerritt, director Ridley Scott, and Brett, um, Harry Dean Statton, Kane, John Hurt. And alien, and I'm not even going to pronounce that name. I'm I'm not very good at pronouncing sort of um sort of foreign sounding names. Uh, turn it over, and you have got alien, and as you can see in the artwork, it was all the sort of um limbs and that of the xenomorph. But yeah, that's all the same there. So you put that to one side, and we have a look at the photo cards. So yeah, we've got Dallas and um. I've forgotten his name already. Um, yeah, well, you know what I mean. Uh, we've got all the crew there. And you've got Parker not being very impressed with the Xenomorph. Probably gets right in his face. So you've got um, Ripley and Parker there. Um, got Ridley Scott and um, Lambert there. Brett and Parker. Brett and Parker again. And not Brett and Parker. That is Lambert and Parker. And a very famous scene, um, which we all know about. And back to the beginning. So on the back, you've got Alien with a bunch of eggs. And that goes for all of them. Put that to one side. And that's a little um, booklet that contains all the card art cards and that. So character cards and photo cards. Put that to one side. And lastly is this gorgeous looking still book. So open it up. Have a look at the disc. This is region three, so you can see you've got ABC and you've got some really nice artwork of the alien. I think this is standard for all the sort of Blu ray releases, to be honest. But yeah, disc one uh, to one side, and that is Lambert versus the alien, which I don't imagine would be a very good Mortal Kombat match, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, and that is the front and the back of the still book. So this side is all embossed and debossed. It's all textured, especially on the alien, as you can see. I don't know if you can that out on the camera. The little outlines there. But yeah, that is all embossed, debossed. And uh, got a border effect around the front of the still book there. And embossing on the title. But yeah, that is a beautiful looking still book. And that's the back. So you've got Ripley there, staring into space. Boom, boom. And you've got the studio credits there. Uh, no embossing or anything on this side. It's just a spot, just the um, high gloss finish. But yeah, that is a beautiful still book. I would even go far to say this is probably the best looking alien still book I've actually seen. Which um, there is quite a few. I've got the 4K still book of this set, you know, which is not related to Film Arena. But that is a gorgeous looking still book. And yeah, that is everything in the set. So again, long out of print. But if you can find this for a decent price on eBay, I do recommend getting it. Especially for the price I got. Um, not rubbing it in, don't worry. But yeah, that is beautiful. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And hope to see you again. Goodbye.